in terms of the inquiry, what can the inquiry do? Will the inquiry just be looking at what went wrong, what can we learn? Or, or will someone, you know, have to accept responsibility or blame? So, I mean, the inquiry is looking at what happened and why it happened. I mean, the second module, the one that comes after, after this one, will be looking at government decision-making, for instance. How did ministers go about making decisions, taking science advice and so on? So it will start to kind of skirt the who's to blame, but there are limits to a public inquiry's powers, and they're relatively powerful beasts, but they don't hold people criminally responsible. Um, you know, that's not their purpose. It doesn't mean that couldn't... Follow. I mean, if you look at the Grenfell inquiry, that similarly can't apply any criminal liability. But on the back of that inquiry, it is possible and um, charges we brought. So, you know, there's a balance. And um, they're looking at what happened and why. And exactly as Amanda says, I think this is a big opportunity for reflection, to try and reflect on what happened, and both at the kind of level of government decision making, but also hearing individuals' experiences. This is an opportunity for catharsis. So many people suffered during the pandemic, and this is an opportunity to hear their voices and make sure we reflect on their experiences.